Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use My Maps and Google Maps to create and plan out an itinerary for travels. So to start with, we're going to type in My Maps and head there. Head to the home page and punch in Get Started. Now we're going to create a new map. So just some drafts that I've created. And we're going to start off by giving our map a name. So I'm going to be traveling uh, to the Great Ocean Road, hypothetically. Uh, trip. We have the ability to add in a description if we want, but for now we'll leave it. And so the first thing is I'm going to start my trip in uh, Ballarat. And I'm not sure where I'll be meeting, but I'm going to be meeting a friend for lunch. So I'm going to add this to the map. I'm going to go add to map, and I'm going to edit this. I'm going to say Ballarat. Keep that there. And we'll say lunch. go and we'll just save that as is and we also have the ability to uh, edit these little icons here just by hitting the paint bucket and because I'm going to be eating lunch we'll change it to red and we'll add a little icon here we also have more icons if we want so uh, that's pretty cool as well and maybe because we're eating lunch we can add a little bit of cute So now I know whenever I see a burger, it means that I'm eating lunch. <clears throat> now after I've had lunch, I'm actually heading all the way down here to Point Campbell, uh, which is my first stop. And so I'm going to name this layer here day one, because this is the day, day one of my trip. So to start with, I'm having lunch. Now I'm heading to Point Campbell uh, to go and stay there. And the first thing I'm going to do when I get to Point Campbell is check into my accommodation that I've hypothetically already booked, uh, which is the Southern Ocean Road Inn. So I'm going to add this to my map. Let's make sure that I'm there. Yep. And I'm going to edit it. I'm just going to say uh, check in. Check in starts at 2 p.m. I have to be checked out um, at 10 a.m. the next day. I'm going to save that. <clears throat> and when I'm traveling, I can quite simply click on this and then get directions to here, which is pretty handy. Now, once I've checked in, I might then go and get some dinner because I think I'll be hungry from all of that driving. So perhaps I will go to this pizza pasta and salad bar actually and I'm not sure we can click on it to see and make sure that it will be open so I'm going to go check it out check out its home page and uh, we can see it's got a takeaway menu so I can have a look at the menu and see if this is something that I would like to get all looks pretty good to me and so we'll get out of that and we'll add it to our map. What I'm going to do once again, change the color. Now I'm getting food, so I might keep it this color. But because it's dinner, I'm going to add a little knife and fork. And there we go. And if I want to add details, let's pretend I have a reservation at 
6 p.m. Get my pizza and <laughs> pasta from a takeaway place. That's all right. And now I have concluded day one. Pretty cruisy day for day one. So once that's done, I now have the ability to add another layer. And this layer here is going to be a day two of my trip. And the first thing I'm going to do is travel down to the 12 apostles. And so I'm going to add a little marker and parking. So I'll add that here. Uh, 12 apostles. And um, I'll just say hi. Now I also have the ability to, once I get here, add in a path of where I want to hike to. So starting location will be my parking. So maybe we'll just put it here. And what we can do is we can add in paths, any sort of lines or shapes, but we will add in a walking route. And from here, it knows that I can go from point A, point B, um, and we go all the way down to here. And around. And then we can do a little loop back up here. And maybe we'll add in here. And then head back to my car. Point A and point B is the 12 apostles. And now we have our directions for our hike. Oops, we totally missed the lookout, but that's fine. <laughs> this is all hypothetical. And once that's done, we can now add in our next layer for our next stop. And we'll add in a marker. And perhaps we'll go to the secret apostles lookout. We'll call it stop two. Day two. Out and walk. Beautiful. And because we are hiking, hike and we'll make it green. Perfect. And now we will name this layer stop. Uh, A2, and we'll just go stop two. Now I know that day two, stop two, is going to be the secret of the soul's lookout in four. And basically, that's how we can start to plan trips um, using Google Maps. It's a really good resource, really handy, and some other benefits could include adding images. So hypothetically, uh, we've traveled to here, the 12 apostles. Say we took some images, um, we'll just use Google. <clears throat> uh, 
Google Images for now, but uh, we can, if we took photos, we could insert our photos as we traveled. Um, or if we needed an image as a reference, we could also have that. So now I know that this is what I'm expecting to see, something like this, when I get to the 12 apostles. The other way of it is that I then have the ability to, as I check off my days, so let's head back to day one. As day one's complete, I can just uncheck it, and now I don't have any of that on my map, and I can just keep moving forward as my trip is planned, and I can check everything off as I go. The other benefit is, once again, that you have the ability to navigate straight to here, view in Google Maps, um, or you can quite simply get directions from your um, location straight away. There we go, you see, you're getting your directions. Um, and then I could add this to my map and then move uh, this layer if I wanted to. I also have the ability to get uh, directions using these lines, directions using this to measure. And once again, adding in them pinpoints and markers is pretty handy as well. That's an overview of how you can start planning your trip with Google Maps. Uh, enjoy your travels if you're going traveling, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one.